So here I am finally after 24 hours on an airplane docked into Italy. This is the lovely city of Maranello, which I got into a place called Bologna and then I had to travel here and I was so tired last night. I just ate dinner, crashed out, but now it's the next day and I am on that grind. We're gonna go used price performance PC hunting or deal hunting and parts hunting in this little town here, but also in the place called Bologna as well, because that's a bigger city. But two things to know, uh, as soon as I got in here, I found out what the metas were in Europe, and that is using apps like uh, LetGo and also uh, Spock. So Spock's really good. I tried this app out, my friend in Austria recommended it to me, and I've already got a deal organized for 85 euro for a GTX 960. Now I know that's not phenomenal value for money, but it's definitely pretty good considering I've heard a lot of horror stories about Europe and actually seeing a lot of deals on this app, I can understand what people are saying. I mean, there's guys selling Pentium 4 PCs for 50 euro. They're trying to peddle this absolute garbage out and rip people off. I don't even think you can play any games in 2018 on a Pentium 4, let alone boot the thing up. But there are some other good deals out there. I mean, once you sift through all the garbage, there are some gems. I've put in a few offers already, but we're gonna see how that pans out over the next few days. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick some of these deals up. If not, we could probably organize postage. But another thing I am noticing as well, there are people who are trying to just sell like keyboards that are really old. And I mean, you can buy this stuff brand new off AliExpress for even cheaper delivered to your door. So uh, when it comes to looking for deals, don't be uh, sidetracked by some of the garbage marketing out there. But there seems to be some uh, used price performance hustlers as well in Europe, which is a lot of respect to those guys. I think what looks like the Sharkoon case with three fans at the front seems to be what the Aussie version of the Rotanium is for people whipping together gaming PCs and they need a case with LED bling. So I think there's some people here that are already on their game. But in terms of let go, I've put an offer as well on a Z77 motherboard. I'm going to keep you guys updated throughout this whole trip and see what we can make out of these PC parts hunting deals in Europe. So we're out here in the middle of Bologna now and before we're in Maranello, but we're getting those deals with the two apps, Spock and also let go. People have replied and for some reason they're staying very close to their offers. I guess that's the thing about Italy, people don't budge a whole lot, but we have confirmed one deal. We've done a handshake and this is for a whole PC with the GTX 1060, Ryzen 2200G motherboard, RAM, power supply, everything. So we've got this for 400 euro, which is an absolute bargain, even compared to the deals that I get in Australia. Just one thing is though, we've got to kind of secure a ride get a car and go meet this guy because I don't speak Italian, he doesn't speak uh, English, but it doesn't matter. There's one language that people always speak and that's cash. So we're gonna try and pick this deal up tonight. If we land this, this will just be a monster of a deal. But also at the same time, I'm gonna keep on the grind, keep hunting for some good deals, so stay tuned. Good morning, yes men and women, and essentially back home from going from Bologna back to the hotel here, the guy yesterday afternoon about 4 p.m., he canceled the deal and said this bullcrap excuse that he sold it on eBay. And I, I think honestly what really happened was, I mean, I was speaking English, he only spoke Italian, so it was just too busy. There was a barrier there for the language. And then I got my friend to send him a message in Italian after that. And I think he just got spooked out because he actually gave me his address and I was looking to um, line up a car with someone else who had rented a car here at the hotel and it just fell through, the deal fell through, but it would have been an amazing deal because I could have gutted all the parts out of it and just left the case behind, but it just wasn't meant to be. I mean, it's fair enough, like when I put myself in someone else's shoes, if someone came to Australia that didn't speak English at all, and they were looking to get a PC off me off Gumtree, I'd be like, what's going on here? Like, nah. So, I mean, it's my own fault that I can't speak the lingo here, but I do kind of consider that if I did speak the right lingo, I think I could have got that deal. Because in Australia, you know, if someone's speaking English and I can see that they're a little bit concerned since this guy had no feedback, 
um, and, and I can see they're a little bit concerned, I can then sort of like do soft talk, you know, like, hey man, like, you know, I'm coming to pick this up, be really polite, but I don't know any Italian at all. All I know is like Italiano and gracias, and that's about it. And so this one fell through, but I've got to go film this event today. And um, after that, I'm going to still be on the grind, still be on the hunt here, trying to get those deals. But until then, we're going to see what pops up because ultimately I'm not going to take a bad deal, regardless of wherever in the world I am. I'm not going to be taking a bad deal just because I want to get something in the suitcase. For me, it's like deal or no deal. And so everything else so far has kind of been like no deal, except one thing. I've been talking to a guy, he's about 20 minutes down the road, and he's selling a Dell laptop. This is an i7-855U and Spirion. These things go in Australia for about 1500 AUD. Is I'm trying to bargain him down to 550 Euro, which would be like maybe 800 and something. So if I can pick this up, get a deal on that, I could flip it and make some money, but we'll see how we go. There's still a couple of days left in Italy. So it's now my last day in Italy and we are filming right now at the Ferrari racetrack. Now something that's important about this Ferrari is that it is sponsored by AMD. Uh, so we're going to take this thing for a drive. I'm probably going to do a separate video on this because it's just so amazing out here. That, that is definitely a good sound right there. So uh, basically update on the parts hunt is that that deal fell through and I couldn't find really anything else. I did find some other deals that sort of like in the works. The laptop, that's getting delayed till August. And unfortunately I won't be in Europe after August. So um, there is always a fallback. When you use parts hunting, you always take a look at every single item. You just scour the market. And I managed to find an i5-2400. I actually put down a few bids on them. Uh, so hopefully I win more than one. And at this price, they're a really cheap CPU, especially if you can piece out a motherboard off AliExpress which is exactly what you do in this situation. Now for graphics cards, I am look, I'm on the prowl, looking at what I can get. There seems to be a few RX 470s and RX 570s and stuff like that coming off mining benches. So hopefully I can pick one of them up, but this will conclude uh, the used parts hunt anyway. Hope you guys have enjoyed this first little tour with Italy. I didn't really check out any shops because I heard they're just a complete rip off. So basically when it comes to getting those deals, these two apps are really good. I highly recommend them if you're in Europe or if you're in the UK. But on that note as well, you've got to always be quick when it comes to getting a deal. Now, my ego is a little bit bruised because that first deal, which was amazing, fell through. But I just think that's to do with the fact that I don't have a home field advantage. I don't speak Italian. The guy clearly got freaked out. So, yeah, none the wiser. But anyway, guys, we're going to go over to Austria tonight. I'm going to get some rest tonight. But then we're going to do a full-fledged parts hunt there because I won't have to do any other filming for any other events or anything like that. So this trip for Italy has only been three days. It's been super busy, but I've been trying to get you guys the content that you love, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Looking forward to your comments as well. Stay tuned for all the juicy videos coming up. Peace out for now. Bye. So the laptop, that's getting delayed till August, and unfortunately I won't be in Europe after August, I mean before, after August. But right now, I'm gonna go drive myself a Ferrari and have a lot of fun, kick back, and enjoy Italy because it is so beautiful here. I mean, last night I went to this dinner and it was just incredible. This uh, Italy is such a beautiful country and I really understand now uh, why Italians just talk about Italy all the time because really nice place, absolutely love it. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go drive myself a Ferrari now. I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.